we're back. So I just hit 70,000 subscribers, and how do I repay you guys? With this beautiful upload oh, schedule. Hell no, man. I know, I know. Listen, we're back on the long videos grind. I post a ton of YouTube shorts, so if you've been missing me, just go watch my YouTube shorts, man. You just click it. But in all seriousness, thank you guys so much for 70,000 subscribers. That's absolutely mind-blowing. I literally love every single one of you. Thank you so much. But moving on from the sappy stuff, listen, guys, we got a banger for you today. I got the Baylor 2076 from Easy SMX today. This controller is absolutely wild. It's $35, and it comes with two back paddles, LED lights, completely remappable buttons, and macros okay we're gonna put the macros to the test just to see how they do but guys listen i really don't condone cheating and if you use macros you're a loser don't use macros just get good at the game i actually found a couple new things that helps you edit a lot faster controller that like nobody's talking about right now which i don't know why so i'm gonna have a really big tutorial drop it soon on how to edit faster completely in season four but with all that said we're gonna hop right to the gameplay and we're gonna start reviewing this controller all right so really quick whenever i do reviews you guys always want to see the box so this is what the controller comes in it comes in this little box just like this this is what the back looks like and it comes with a USB C cable also this manual which is actually really useful like most manuals kind of suck but this one's actually good because the controller has so many features and it gets a little bit confusing so this actually kind of gets to the point it's really good and it also comes with this wireless dongle it's a usb dongle but as most everybody knows if you use a controller use it wired you get less input delay and then of course you got the controller this is what the controller looks like up close you got two back paddles this is the button if you want those on or off you got the macro button right here this is the wireless connect button here and it has these pretty nice grips on the back and these bumpers feel really good i actually like these bumpers a lot they're really nice and clicky and they don't feel like plasticky they feel really nice but now moving in game so right off rip the very first thing that i feel about this controller right when i pick it up the first thing that i notice is that it is going to be pretty hard to be smooth on this controller now what do i mean by that pretty much i mean that this controller has kind of a high dead zone so it kind of has a high dead zone right out of the box which mostly isn't really a bad thing for one you definitely won't get any stick drift but if you're like me and you're used to a super expensive pro controller then it might throw you off a little bit right when you first start using it but it's not really a con you get used to it over time and the second thing that i noticed in right off rip is that these paddles are actually good like my edit speed with this controller is actually nice like it looks like i got my scroll wheel on right now i'm telling you brother and most of the time with cheaper controllers the paddles usually suck on them and they're not very useful but i can tell you right now for this controller i actually like it it's really good now don't worry we're gonna get to the macros later but for now i want to show you guys what settings i'm actually using for this controller so right when you flip it over this right paddle is my edit so this paddle's my edit I select with the fire button, obviously, and I confirm with LB. That's my edit binds for this controller. For a two paddle setup, I have my edit on the right side and my build mode is on the left side. And then of course, jump is my down left stick. For whatever reason, down left stick edit and down left stick build mode for me sucks. I hate it and I don't like it, especially for only a two paddle setup. I always recommend jumping with your down left stick because it's the one bind that you don't need to use a lot, like repetitively. And trying to edit fast and put your builds away fast and stuff with using down left stick it can really screw up your movement. So I always recommend jump for a two paddle setup on the down left stick. But for all the other binds, this is what I got going down. So everything is pretty simple. As you can see, I do have my sprint on my left D pad here. And if you look at B, for whatever reason, this has been a glitch in the game for I don't even know how long, but that's my pickaxe. I promise you, look, if I go back, if I do this, this is my pickaxe. It's on B. Yes, that is how it works. I don't know why it's a glitch, but it is. And build controls, nothing really changes here. Uh, we're just going to keep on going. And obviously, these are my edit binds. So A is my edit, but it's on my paddle, my right paddle. My reset's my bumper. Confirm LT. I already told you guys that. And then uh, we'll move on to the sensitivity. So let me just wiggle my way over here. So these are the settings that I'm using for this controller. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so the look sensitivity and the ADS sense on the non-advanced is at four. Keep that at four. Uh, yes, if you change that, it does change your advanced settings as well, if you didn't know. But also, our build mode is at two. 2.0, edit mode 2.0, and 4040. This is just a great combo. So many pro controller players use this, and I've been rocking with this for a pretty long time now. If you've been watching the channel, this is a good sensitivity for pretty much every controller. I'm going to be honest. Most pros use it anywhere from 40% to like 45%. And ADS speed is 11.11. ADS turning boost ramp time, keep that at 0.20 seconds. It kind of acts as a boost, and if you don't know what a boost is, it slows down your dead zone for a period of time. So when you ain't down sight and you're trying to line it up really quickly, you can kind of line it up first and then your sensitivity will kind of go back to normal. People say this setting doesn't work without boosts on either. And yes, it absolutely does. And if you don't believe me, 
try it for yourself. And then look dampity time. Always keep this to zero. You never want this on, especially if you're on linear and dead zone. And the left stick is 10%. No apparent reason. I just keep it at 10%. And then the right stick is at five. Like I said, this controller comes with a pretty big automatic dead zone from the factory. Uh, so you're going to want to keep this as low as possible. Now, like I said earlier, that's not always a con. So like, look at my dead zone here, right? So if I flick this stick, there is absolutely no drift on this controller, which is great. So you'll never have to worry about this controller ever having drift. It's a, it's definitely a pro in my eyes, as long as you're willing to get used to it. Listen, guys, we're going to jump into 1v1s. But before I mention that, I did want to say, first off, guys, go follow me on Twitter. If you want to stay up to date with me and see what's going on, go follow me on Twitter. I really appreciate it. And secondly, this is my 1v1 map and not a lot of people know that. And I am adding matchmaking in very soon. I'm going to leave the code on screen. So if you want the chance to 1v1 me, come and try my map out. So now that all that's out of the way, let's hop in into some 1v1s and see how we do. All right, so it looks like we got our first victim here, but listen, I do want to mention really quick, guys, I'm used to a four paddle setup and also a scroll wheel. So this is going to be a good test to see if I'm still cracked without all my extra goodies on my super fancy controllers. Let's see if we can actually put in some work. Oh, get out of here, buddy. What are you doing? Come on now. Ooh, yo, that was all the way down from full HP. What the heck? I even hit him once. Oh, my aim with this controller is crazy. What the heck? No way. Wow, that was a nasty shot. All right, please don't leave. Please, bro. Whenever they stand still, that just me. Oh, I called it, bro. I choked my words, but whenever they stand still, man, that's when they leave. All right, next guy we got is a default skin. Well, he looks like he knows what he's doing, so. No way. Thank God, dude. Oh, that would have sucked if I lost that. That would have been embarrassing. Oh, it's too... It's Guys, it's too easy, I'm telling you. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw that. The resets were slow. I know, I know. I'm used to the scroll wheel. I know, guys. Oh, no way. Oh, oh. Oh, I can't peanut butter. Let's go. Oh, my God. That was sloppy, but we got the job done. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I suck. I suck. Oh, I suck. I suck for that. I pieced him all the way up, bro. And I can't my shot. That's craziness. Bro, no way this guy's name is Top G. I don't care. Yeah, boys, he's not really looking like a Top G here. I'm going to be honest. What the heck is this guy doing? Yeah, he's got Top G internet, bro. Look at his internet, dude. I don't know what's going on with him. Either that or his controller keeps unplugging. I don't know what's going on. That's not very Top G to me. brother what are you doing listen if i'm staring at your face super hard bro don't peek me man don't no way how did he get up oh my screwed up my builds oh boys that one hurts bro honestly i kind of deserve that i was talking a lot of well, that wraps up the 1v1s, but we have to test the macros on this controller. All right. The way that I'm pretty sure you do it is you press the macro button and then you press another button. So if I press this button once, wait. Oh, oh, it's working. Oh, oh, it's working. Okay. And then if I press it again, it turns off. Yeah, that's right. Oh my. One thing that I've kind of realized with this is that it's almost kind of impossible if you actually really wanted to use this in game. Cause like if you go for a double edit, right? So now like my gun is shooting without like me wanting it to, but if I press my shoot button again, it stops the macro. And so like if I'm building and I place a wall, right now, like I pull my build and I put my builds away, my pickaxe swings. So it's not necessarily like super useful. Oh my God. But like the edits are like instant. Cause like, so look, like if, yeah, like I'm not even, if I just press this, it always pulls out a wall. Oh, oh, I'm boxing myself in. Oh God. Oh my God, bro. Yeah. See, dude, this is sick, but like, oh my God. Did you see the double edit there? Hold on. So we got both these set up. Now, if I press it once and try to macro, hello. Oh, so I think I'm not editing as fast as it possibly could because I also have 30 ping. So it's pretty cool to see. I mean, I really do hope that nobody actually does try to actually use this in game. And in, if they do, it's kind of impossible. So that would suck to just have like macroing controller players all over the place. And then to reset the macros, I think you press and hold the middle button and it should vibrate. Yeah, 
There it goes. It vibrated. All right. So now if I press this, yeah, it's off. It doesn't do it anymore. Like it's kind of cool to see controllers do this, but like you really don't need macros, man. Just kind of get good at editing, bro. Like it's not, it's really not that hard. And I do have one more really cool thing to show you guys. Now, Easy SMX sent me out these wireless headphones. They're actually pretty sweet. So like I said, they're completely wireless and they do have a microphone on them. It has like this really comfortable mesh material. And if you want to be a true gamer, you gotta have LEDs on your headset, man. It comes in this little carrying case with tons of extra little stuff. Oh, that's really cool cool dude i wish every headset had this it's a little button right here that mutes your microphone whenever you're using your mic all right so we're also testing the microphone on these in case you guys want to know what it is yeah i don't know what it sounds like right now and also if i just hit this button if you go to walmart and buy a 35 dollars headset you're not gonna get anywhere close to the quality that actually comes with these i seriously do recommend them for the price also guys this is what the box looks like they are the grani easy smx headphones guys there will be a link down in the description for these headphones and for the controller i just reviewed just in case you guys want to check it out and a huge thank you to easy smx for sending these guys out they're awesome definitely go check them out guys and show them some support they're pretty cool and since i always get really good feedback for testing affordable controllers let me know if there's any controllers that you want me to review down below i'll be more than happy to do so also guys like i said don't forget to go follow me on twitter it's down below in the description and if you watch to the very end comment the words w easy smx i want to see who actually watches my full videos and who the real ones are and guys like i said upload schedules coming back at you i got a sick video coming very soon make sure to hit the notice because you're not going to want to miss it and seriously if you made it this far i love you and appreciate you so much i'll catch you guys in the next one much love yo peace